So we've covered belt tensioning previously on the cutting head belts on our Predator 38RX and now we're going to approach the lathe shaft belts. Now Predator don't give you in their workshop manual a specific amount of deflection on these belts. Now it's quite important to get this correct so I've researched it and found a couple of charts on the internet which will I've worked out the correct amount of deflection. So this engine fast idles at 3600 rpm. The uh, clutch pulley is roughly 100 to 110 mil. That means that these belts are turning at 19 meters per second. So with those figures in the chart, we can work out that we need 7.1 millimeters of deflection on the lower half of this gauge. So we set this O-ring like so at 7.1. Now we then do, as we have done on all three belts, we find the, the weakest belt of all three. We check that by pushing that down that then gives us the amount of kilograms of force required to push that down, which in this case is a set of two so far. Now, the chart say, says I need between 1.8 and 2.7, so I'm on the slightly lower end there. So by releasing these 30 mil nuts by about half a turn each and tightening the 24 mil clockwise and located at the center rear, slowly doing it and keep checking our adjustments, we can then work out exactly how much force has been applied, which means I can lift this up to say, I don't know, 2.5 kilograms of force. So the two measurements you need to know to tighten your belts are 7.1 on the lower half of the belt deflection gauge and 2.5 will be the reading you're looking for on the top half of the gauge, approximately. Because predators say all you should need to do is be able to turn these belts over a quarter of a turn. Well, I can turn those belts 180 and my partner who was in there earlier could barely struggle to turn it even you know a third of that so it is important to have the gauge and use it correctly and know how to use it and have the figures available so the figures are again 7.1 on the lower half and the reading you are looking for is 2.5 on the top and these are approximate do feel free to just to look at the chart and correct me if i'm wrong